Hi guys, we're going to talk today about a machine which uh, even people who are into scraping probably uh, most of you won't have ever heard of before. This is a Coborn, made in England, probably dated in the 1950s I guess. I guess it dates from an era when handheld electric motors were maybe too expensive, too unreliable for uh, handheld use. And similar to the way that uh, line shafting was used for a central power supply for a whole shop, handheld tools got a, a, ground, a motor on the ground with a flex shaft out to the, to the head unit. There it is, the Corburn Type 1 Powered Hand Scraper. The concept's the same as a BX or any other powered scraper with the swash plate turning rotary motion into a reciprocating linear motion. The cutting stroke is easily adjusted with a big screwdriver down through this hole. No need for any locking nuts, you just give it a, give it a, a crank to shorten or lengthen the stroke. One of the main advantages over, as opposed to a BX is that the industrial induction motor is much quieter. The next significant advantage is the integrated st uh, cast iron honing plate driven off the motor shaft. While it could theoretically be lighter in the hand than a BX, in practice this pretty solid aluminium cast housing means it's just about the same weight as, a, as any BX. The power is transmitted by this pretty hefty spring inside a very thick and rigid uh, rubber conduit. The other big advantage is, well, I own it. It was sold to me for only a couple of hundred bucks by a guy local to me here um, once he got himself a BX. So I figured I'd never be able to afford a, a BX, so this is as good as it gets. It came with both one long and one short tool holder, one pretty large and one extremely large carbide blade. I made up this blade just out of a piece of old steel with a bit of carbide uh, brace to the end of it with a much tighter radius, I think this is a 60, to uh, you know better for spotting and final, uh, fine um, scraping. And also Last time I had a laser order, I made got three more, three more parts lasered in different lengths. Uh, I might try th putting a carbide on the, the long one, thinning it down, and giving myself a little more flexible uh, scraping blade. Because I, I read on some of the uh, forum threads that a more flexible blade is advantageous for, uh, at least for when you're uh, getting started. This is the original Coborn uh, grinding jig, which is both tilting. And has this very cool sector bearing which to provide the rotation. Unfortunately, you'd have to replace these parts for every single change in radius that you need. And uh, the minimum radius on this one is I think 150 millimeters, which is just too much for, for my hobby um, scraping use. So I put that in the box and just made up a, a, uh, my own version. This swiveling tool rest I made out of a few lasered uh, steel parts. I do the initial grind of a, bl of a blade on the uh, Clarkson to uh, get the basic radius using a, a scraper radius gauge to, uh, to sort of roughly set it. And then once, once a, uh, a blade has a decent radius, from then on in, in use it just gets honed on the, uh, on the, uh, the, 
diamond hone here. I bought some diamond lapping paste from uh, eBay, I think it came from the Ukraine. <laughs> So is the Coburn, the ultimate uh, machine scraper. Hard to say, because I've never used the BX. I've, I've, I've held the BXs from my friends and had a look at them, but I've never actually used one. So you'd have to find somebody who's used both a Coburn and a BX to make that decision. The advantages, it's much quieter. It's got the nice built-in uh, hone, so it's very quick to, it's, it's easy to just quickly do, give a hone in between scraping passes. Um, the downside, it's not very portable, the whole thing together is pretty big and heavy um, and it doesn't have any adjustable speed unless you put a VFD on the on the main motor to slow it down. Up to you, what do you think? Better than a BX? Worse than a BX? Doesn't matter, it's the only one I've got. Got a step scrape this will cross, got a quite an angle on this uh, on the foot of this bed so One more pass. Sure, better, sure beats doing it by hand. <laughs> 